So when should you use pointers? So pointers are good if you have a large chunk of data and you don't want to pass that big chunk of data around through your program. You can just pass the address where that data is stored. And, uh, and now all you're doing is passing an address. So that could save you a little performance if you're thinking about like, wow, this is a huge piece of data we're getting back from the database. All right, it's stored in memory. Now just pass the address around and use the address uh, where, you, where you need it. The other way you could use pointers is if uh, you need to change something that's at a certain location, you could use pointers. And so that's uh, the other thought you might have when, when should I use a pointer? Hey, you need to change a value. You could use a pointer and it's gonna change that value at that location. So you could pass the address somewhere and then you could dereference that address and assign, the, assign some new value there. And so those would be the two ways that you might use pointers. So now what we're gonna see is, we're gonna see some pointers in action. We'll code something up and, um, and, uh, and the one thing I want you to take away from this is everything in Go is passed by value. So drop any phrases and concepts you may have from other languages, pass by reference, pass by copy. Forget those phrases, pass by value. That is the only phrase you need to know and remember. That is the only phrase you should use, pass by value. Everything in Go is passed by value. In Go, what you see is what you get. Look at what is happening, that is what you get. So just look, or am I passing a value or am I passing an address? If I'm passing an address, I got an address. Now I can change whatever's at that address. And don't worry about those other phrases. Don't even use them, <laughs> right? So wherever you're coming from, throw them away and just use pass by value. And when you have an address, you could reference the value at that address. You could change the value there. Don't use other phrases to describe it because everybody's got different definitions and uh, it just confuses everybody. In my experience from what I've seen. So just remember pass by value. All right, so now let's, uh, let's create a function. <clears throat> And this will be foo, and foo will take in an x, which is an int, and uh, it'll fump dot print line x, and I'm just making this up, and it'll set x equal to 43, and it'll fump dot print line uh, x, and then it'll return uh, nothing. It won't return anything. And so then up here we will have, uh, we'll make this y, just so we could kind of go in order. And up here we will have uh, x is colon equal to zero, and uh, and then foo, and we're going to pass in x, and now we're going to print out x. Cool. So x is zero. We pass x into here. It gets assigned to y. What you see is what you get. <laughs> we're passing in the value zero. It's an int. It's assigned to y. We print zero out. We say y is equal to 43. We print y out. We come back up here because foo's done. We print out x. X is still going to be 0, right? So 0, 43, 0. Totally what we expected to see, except uh, we have one print line there, and uh, this one, 0, 43, 0, 0. That's not what I expected to see. Print line y should be 0. That's right. And then print line y here is 43, and then print line y here is 0. Totally worked. Okay. Computer never lies. It always just takes a little bit of time sometimes to understand what it's doing. I don't know if that's true. The computer never lies. It just does what it's programmed to do. So the next thing we want to do is instead of, and I'll, I'll save this as step one. Step one, code. Step one. Step two. No pointer. Step two, pointer. Step three, profit. So now we're gonna change this code and I got the YV in there, that's the YV, cool. We're gonna change this code to take in a pointer to an int, which means that we now need to pass in a pointer to an int, an address, right, where an int is stored. And so now the type is pointer to an int. We're gonna print that out, we're gonna see an address, and then we're gonna dereference this and we're gonna say, the value at this address set it equal to 43. And then we could print out that address. We could also print out the value stored there. So we'll just add these in here. So there's the address and then the value stored there. There's the dereference and there's the dereference. And we could print out here the value, you know, we'll put this one right here. We'll print the address where X is stored and we'll also print 
the value at that address, right? So that's the, just making sure we're doing that in the same way. So the address and the value where the address is stored. And, uh, and then we could add a little bit of help in there if we'd like. And so we could do this. X before, before. X before, X after, X after, and we could do Y before, Y before, Y after, Y after. And that gives us a little bit of a way to see it, format it all and run it. So X before, it's at this address, and look at that address, right? That's the same address all the way through. And I'm gonna change before to just before so that we have a little visual alignment there because we're human. Same address all the way through. That's cool. So we have X is equal to zero. We pass in the address right here. The address is received right there. And so this is the X before and the Y Right, same address, same address, same value. And then we take the value at that address and we set it equal to 43. So the Y after, same address, and now it has the value 43. And then the X after, foo is run, X after foo is run, same address, and the address, the value stored at that address is 43. And so by passing a pointer to the type of the value stored at that address, a pointer to an int, right? We're pointing to a memory address where an int is stored, a value of type int is stored, pointer to an int. By passing in the address, we are able to dereference and say the value at that address, dereference the value at that address, should be this. And now since X and Y both are like dealing with the same post office box, one of them can change the value there, and that's what they both see. And so that's where like a pointer allows you to change, and you'll hear people talk about it as mutate, mutate the value. So can you mutate? When you want a value to be mutated, totally weird. Like programming sometimes it's like, <laughs> why didn't you just say change, <laughs> right? But if you want to mutate, if you want it to be mutated, then use a pointer. It's like, what are you talking about? If you want to just change the value at the address, change it, use a pointer. <laughs> but mutated is a word that you'll hear people talk about when they talk about pointers. And so, you know, this is all passed by value. Look and see what you're doing and what you got. I'm passing in an address. I've got an address. Then I could dereference it, you know, and get the value at that address and do something with it. It's all passed by value. Passed in the value of an address, right? Before in the previous one, I was passing in the value of an int, right? The value here is a pointer to an int since it's an address. You always pass by value, whatever the value is. That's what's getting passed in. All right, so that's a good little example of uh, how... A pointer to an int allows you to mutate a value stored at a memory address. <laughs> it allows you to, uh, you know, pass a value into a function, change the value at that address, and then everything that's looking at the value at that address sees the new value, sees the new value. It makes sense, right? Um, so if, uh, if that's a little bit foreign, code this one up yourself. Just kind of look at it and recode it and walk yourself through it as you do it and talk yourself through it. And then watch this video again. If you really want to learn this, make a video yourself teaching it. <laughs> Upload it to Twitter and then tweet it and uh, tag me in it so I could see it. All right, good on you. That's uh, the next step in understanding pointers. Good on you. That's what the Australians say. I like that saying. Good on you. All right, there we go. When to use pointers. <laughs>